Let's look at the demo environment for a gateway-free hypermetro active-active solution. In our solution, we use two ocean stored radar systems, touchdown servers, switches and optical fiber to establish a gateway-free active-active solution. This solution is unique because we can guarantee reliable services even when data centers are separated by the distance of 300 kilometers. The active-active design implements load balancing and non-disruptive takeover between two sites. Let's log into storages in both sites and have a look at hypermetric configuration. This is the storage in site A and this is the storage in site B. Currently, these two storages work normally. First, we can have a look at the remote device of each storage. Two storages are connected through the fiber channel links. Also, we can have a look at hypermetro domain. There is a hypermetro domain already created and working in quorum server mode. Now, let's go to the hypermetro pair. This pair now is working normally and the two resource LANs are mapped to the server inside A at the same time. Let's log into the test server and check the hypermetro LAN. The hypermetro LAN disk name is SDM. And now we start this VDBench script to keep reading and writing hypermetro LAN. The size of I.O. is 8 KB, 70% read, and we start the script to read and write hypermetro disk. Now the VDBench tool is simulating the service on the test server. Go back to the storages. Check the storage performance, first for the storage inside A and second for the storage inside B. Inside A storage the amount of IOPS is about 46 thousands and also for storage inside B the amount of IOPS is about 46 thousands. So we can see when the server reads and writes hypermetro LAN the two storages in two data centers will provide service at the same time and they are load balanced. Next we will show the non-disruptive takeover between the two sites. Keep the service running and simulate cutting off power supply of the storage in one data center. Here we choose the storage in data center A to switch off power supply. Now we switch it off. The storage inside A is inaccessible and we go to check the service. The service keeps running there is no interruption because the storage in data center B has taken over all the services. Go to the storage in the side B performance monitoring page. We can see after one storage is down, another storage has taken over all the services. The business has not been interrupted. We have seen the hypermetro solution load balancing and non-disruptive takeover between the two sides. Next, we just need to wait until the storage in site A to recover. Let's keep the video bench running, waiting for the storage in the site A. Ok, now the storage A is back. The remote transmission link between the two data centers is up. The hypermetro pair will start the incremental synchronization automatically and after synchronization is finished, the hypermetro pair will recover to normal. During this time, the VDBench servers keeps running with no interruptions. The traffic of the two storages is balanced again. That's all the test case I wanted to show you today. Thank you for your attention and hope to see you soon.